I want to believe that each and every one of us has had pork or a product that comes out of a pig. But what does it mean for the people that produce these pigs, the smallholder pig farmers scattered across Uganda? What are the challenges that they face on a daily basis as they grow the pigs from which we get all these delicacies? What is their relationship, for example, with the people that buy pigs from them, the aggregators, the people that go door to door in the villages looking for those pigs? Do they pay the right prices? Do they support them to grow those pigs? What exactly happens? Who supports them in terms of extension services? For example, access to artificial insemination, access to information, access to quality inputs, access to drugs. Who supports them? Is it government? Is it the private sector? Or is it the civil society organization? In order to support the smallholder pig farmers in Uganda to transform their businesses, we need to examine all these facets of their enterprise. What is their relationship with the people who buy pigs? What is their relationship with the government extension system? What is their relationship with the people who provide information, uh, be it via the phone, or via TV, or via radio, or through any media that they use to access the information that they need to do a good job. In order to do that, we must look not just upon the smallholder farmer that grows the pigs, but within the entire value chain to examine those relationships that are responsible for delivering the pigs and then from the pigs to the delicacies that we have, and then examining the entire ecosystem surrounding the value chain, which in this case is the market system. We are trying to examine and analyze the bottlenecks, the failures that are within the pig value chain in Uganda that are preventing smallholders from becoming bigger in size, bigger in terms of uh, what they produce, bigger in terms of their incomes, and bigger in terms of so many other things. Hamanya Ganginza Asimo William, on Tuzewe Kawanda Centro, Kawanda Parish, Nabweru Division, Nasana Municipality, Wakiso District. Edanga and Dimorunzi Wambizi, or Montuarunzi and Bizinga Katsawas in a no Maka Muramba Mukurunde and Biz. And Biz is in Nazita and Dika in Chagara. Quacho Kuvabutonga passionate young Kurunda and Biz. Natandika name Bizem, Nancy Yanga and Zimba, Dumba Demuko Challenge and Tonoto, no Nata, at least teaching Yambi or Kuzimbanti. So I was in a Tandika Kumbizem, Challenge of Nazim Psem, Natens of the Chimaking and it. So I was in Nava Progress, one Tinyambi or Kuanga and Pezem Bizimuenda. Nti Mukurunda and Bizi, I was singer wins or Quebus and Nachijawa. Nay, Nanzo Moon to Chilin to Nagazako, Kunonia into Venja would be in Sobor of Kora, Nema is Anga and Bizi and Nons, the Kwana Soka Kurunda Kong Koko, Zocha Renzazo and Mari Zanga Zinemi. Okurunda and Bizi Kuno Kuba Queta Gisok take a focus Kumeri, Kubio Kuria, Ntembizi Okuro Burundi, Yeta Go Kuria. So to what we know Quege and Derezanum Bichivia to Jirisa. Nga embize nungi, e ino kulie chitone nyoru na kwe mirundi esatu. E ino kulia kumacha, nojiwa mutuntu, nojiwa nore gulo kwe sovolo sura angiria. Nti kumacha obo kede nojisa wiro omudo, obudo de subi subi o isa amaragara, ojiteramu, e misana nojire tera maize brand. Deni ore gulo, nojire tera ama watana danganze nzilisa watabia bia matoke. Never anger the Suranga Zilia. And busy, Nadara focus and Kuro in Ojite Kaku brandy, Chica, Chijezino, Kuriantimo brandy, and busy Nadara again and Kuru Vojituni and Titina, Tekuria brandy, a Kamukaru. Quackating hands and Gura brandy, and Gura witty brandy, Ne Mubam will not take a Wamukonekumes broken, then in a take a Makarunga Kaitua concentrate. The entabura, Gayo Yemeria, you, Binene Rab, your navy, your mood, Devia, Chivina, quasi just supplements, Zongera, Coco Jicusa. In Tierra, or you know, making a sure and busy in gain and Kuru, or Runaque, Tonenio, a way in Okuria Kironia. 
Nebi okulia biso challenge nti wali wo time lwetu kanga brand ya alinyi obaka sori alinyi so chobo ino kola nti obo ina okuyiya ye ebirala ebino okuzimba nti cholwa na chimu embizi buli lunako ino kubanga byeri debi weza kilo zitano chobo nti ne obo na osaze ojiwa mawato obo jiwa amarwa genzi nganze genzi lise sawa zino making a sure nti mere genjiwa reaching ku namba ya kilo zitano Kwa ingeno mama, waina jiri isaburu unji okuza kwa mbili okusoboro okuwaka. Atebu ewaka, ntijeko mwakuli oburu unji kwe kuzaro wano oburu unji. Boda kunto, obo ino ziri isa, okusoboro kura amangu. Chovoda yotu jikipinga nyoku brokeni, na amaru antibyo vili hibiku atamuru vuto. Kwa yotu batuluwa na chimu okuweza waiti. Kwa ina alie ya arunda, ata inze na abarabo na ntiembizi chetu ino singo foka singa ko. Bie vio kuria. Nensara unti embizi vuli embizi at least vuli emu. Njiwe chitundu, ngene nkuru njiwe chitundu chie chidomora cha marwa. Bweria emanyo kutamira neyebaka. Oba bweria woboji wada maroji wana ama zine nyuera ko neyebaka. Echo chiji amba ko vrenya neyebaka nezuka ne. Chiburido yebaka chiji amba ko geza ko okubustingo mbili guayo. Embizi zino. Tuziri same is brand, ngawe na wanyonyo dente mbizi feeding ya ye ntu femere ye mbizi, ogula maiz brand, ogula brokeni, no ogula concentrate, kainganze nteka mune kawiti brand. Kainga witi brand ne maiz brand, ntela kubigule maganjo, kumaganjo grain billers. Tuina concentrate, at least ye atero tamburi rao, zine sawa zino jituni antika tekile sawa zine liku nusika kaga. Netu ajigula koku nkumi nyabitano. Echo nechitu forcing o kuwanti tuno nyamarua. Tumanyo genda ne muote zezenja urogula gama wata gama toke. No gule nsawe munga bajugu ze mituare vili. Mkugula gama kangaga marua nti bulichidomora bachi kuguza nkumi satu. Nengo ino chite kamu transporta achitusa kufamu. Achikola nengo nechitu forcing o gendeyo. Orwe bura no kuri nyakwe mele eyebi soro enja ulo jetuko zesa. No risi no genda no gule mele, nenge mele olia kutabuli daruwa kwa gara kutu kuweza sente gwezo muwa, nga yeta fayu kusoro chicho okorachi. Cha chisoro cho genda kulisa, wako genda ne wako kutabuli mele olisi nga sinu unji. Nea tenze cha mfosi ngo kuwanti njiga, okwe tabuli le mele. Kuwa otege ira wikine serimu chisoro cho, Otege ili chisoro chochiche chivulamu, no soboro kutabule merenga etukanye, nembera, ili chisoro chochoko la chorunda. So che kuviza uli omunti, chiba beta, buli murunzo kubango, soboro tege ili chisoro chocheta aga merechi, cheta aga chiri isachi, chivulamu uchi. Kubabo gena no mugambo ugambi, tinjaga la mere intabule. Eye mbiza, jagamba ugambi, mpeng kumi tsatu, buli kilo. Nenge mere jia kuguza, sinu unji. So, chare njezezo, zitu forcing o kubanga, zitu igiri zebi, nitu ebi mu. Kube mele buwebe rinyo bange ebuze, ateto genda leka ambizi zife. Obo ino kuno nyano oleta, nga wendeta marwa, nende tevi wata, nensawa ne kumudo gundi around, nenzi tera moga tao. Echiru njiche ambize, chisoki adara chiri chimu, niti akatari kayo wekari. Yade chare njije chiri mweri emu, niti basera. Ngeno jeturi, oja sange mbi zinga, mbwe bobo jibazo hano mtuka wano mgamba njagare mituare itano, mituare itano, aja kusera, echinene nya jagamba nkuwe mituare isatu. Nego gamba anti, e yange njingenda jitu nda mkiro, obanze ntunda mkiro. Bagamba jaji pimira wagenda kudira kukira gambe, mtikira agenda kuwe nusu kanana, vitanu, kanana. Nenga ateye kira agenda jitu nde nusuwe, chito nenyo sawa zino ya gumu satu. Nga sometimes zi akuwa, Nga asaze nezo zota demu tezifu deyo, ze wajigula tezifu deyo. Kaiboba kwe sadi vante jeyo, nti tetu inao chiri standard. Oba wantu wali ya wagamba, nti wanuwe tuwe sigabu, otu kwa oba sobo kuja wakuwe, beye ntufe yembi zobachi. Yada katari kayo wekari, esizibu cheka inachi munti basera. Chenandi sabieri ya watu gula ke mbi ziri, ya watu kwela price hivyo na, nti at least, bandi bade bageza ako, okutunulira ezi byo mulunzi soche nandi sabye bali eko chitono na fetsigarenga at least tufunako 
Babirenga watu gula mubeye ntufu. Nti embizi boba wajitunda kilo gumu satu. Atisto msubu omuru nzine baba muguze koku gumu, gumu lukumi. Oba gumu bili. Na hone tunafe nisobolo funa muko. Bobo tunafuna mwakuru nzo kurunda kuja kuwa kuturemi. Nesaba ne government ingabo ya fayo. Neteka sechuyo wa neteka kuwa kwabo. Aba chingi ajiventi. Ntibo baina rufura baina chinembizi na feba tugezeko. Batuweye chintuwe chili gazete do sanga chijia kuyamba kawa suvuzi. Okuteka okutuwa koku price etegera. We had William talk about the issue of pricing in the pig value chain or within the, uh, the pig market system. The fact is that the smallholder pig farmers are at the, are at the receiving end of low prices from the aggregators or generally the people who buy pigs from them. This is precipitated by the fact that the entire market system, even including within the pig value chain, we are seeing continuously a lack of transparency, a lack of information, and this transparency and lack of information is being exploited by the buyers to offer low prices to the smallholder pig farmers. He said sometimes they even receive prices that are below the amount of money that they have used to grow the pigs. What does this therefore mean? It means that a smallholder farmer will be unable to save enough money to grow that business because he's receiving a price that is below the cost of production. This is one of the major problems affecting the smallholder pig farmers in Uganda and it needs to be addressed by building a strong transparent relationship between those farmers and the aggregators by working on the system that they use, not only to buy, but to bargain. Who controls it? Who sets the standards? Who provides the market information? Those are the critical things that we need to look at if we are to support the smallholder farmers to benefit from their work. Now, to give you an idea about how the pricing of pork is highly skewed against a smallholder farmer in Uganda in this market. If I were a pig buyer coming to buy a pig or pork from this farm, I would pay William 8,500 shillings per kilo. And then I would move a kilometer or two from this farm and sell the same kilo of pork at 13,500. That, ladies and gentlemen, if it is not cheating, then what is it? Nti tui na chare nji saa wazino, nti na madagara genjini agarimu. Murimuru ogule dagara, nori kuba embizi. Nenge dagara joi kubie, nga omanyi chare nji tui na madagara gafage Uganda. Tui nza tege radi, puto nza tege rori gino. Atevo oreto muja anjavi veti mba jia kubile dagara. Na ya agenda kubanga kubala just beye. Ntichia njigirizo kubanga omuru nziye na. O ino kwe kubide da. Mbizizo e, 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 ino kubanga guazi gema. No sovoro kwe kanya dagarachi. Sometimes inti nze nina advantage ye munti nito mmanyo genda kwa kwa interneti. No no nyeleza. Mbizi nina jikuwa dagarachi nina jikuwa dagarachi. Nenga atena hodi samu bovori funye wali wono otaro kulifu na origin. Kubaba goza. Uh, he said the, the, the quality of inputs is suspect in the country. There is no system that uh, guarantees quality for the inputs that farmers buy. And William rightly put it that they go to a, a specific shop, they ask for this, uh, these inputs from a vet guy or the person who's behind the counter whose main interest is to get money. They value the quality of the inputs based on the pricing. If it's expensive, then maybe it's good. If it's not expensive, then maybe it's bad. But again, they cannot tell whether the, exp the expensive thing is actually good. But anyway, they go ahead and buy. And then when they buy, they come back to their shop, to, to their farms, and then do the mixing by themselves, which again presents its own problems. First of all, it's expensive. Secondly, it's a laborious process. And thirdly, they are not trained. They cannot tell which kind of uh, 
quality or quantity they are supposed to mix for animals of which, of which size or which age. So again, you, we can see the, the kind of challenges that these farmers are faced with. They buy something that they are not comfortable with, and then they come and mix them in proportions which are also not comfortable for them. But they have got to do that. and basically there has been a, a bit of a skewed focus from the, from the side of government where a lot of attention has been put on the crop sector vis-a-vis uh, -vis the animal sector. So the animal sector, the pigs also fall in the animal sector. So there is a little bit of uh, inadequate attention there. So the access, accessing financial services to boost the productivity of their farms is a lot of a challenge for them. Chikwata gana no funa information we chikwata gana no funa mawiro baku vikwata kumbizi kwe gangaka tugambe kuchokulisa kuchenda vidida kuchenzi janjaba nti nganze nze nganze ndila ke nti ninao ka smartphone kange kanyamba nze ngoo muntu okugenda nensobolo okusachinga mbizi inakulietia na ewe wesa nganti wali yo muntu wali mcharo ata ina ya the smartphone iboba ina challenge nene nange mkusoka na jina ko ndaisoka nsi ya feje tulimwe Uganda nebo boda ba government we ba kuba fevaringa obojira bwe gamba anti kogera kwa agriculture eyogera kubalimi omuntu atandi ko kulunde mbizi nga magezi ga kozesa ga naiba iseo na mugamba mbizi eyo inakola chino mbizi eyo ndwa do ino jiwe dagala lino nti information eriwe kwatagana ku mbizi Oba kukurunda, saa wazi nontono. Yeah, like uh, extension support is a, a critical building block to a typical farmer in terms of uh, advancement and progress in their respective uh, industry. Uh, of course, like any other farmer, the pig farmer needs extension support. But critical is, do they access this support? Well. What we're observing in the industry is, uh, unlike uh, probably poultry, uh, cattle, uh, mainly uh, uh, cows, livestock, it's a little bit uh, haphazard when it comes to accessing extension support to a typical smallholder pig farmer. Reason being that uh, the industry is not uh, well streamlined, not well organized, so you find uh, bits and pieces here and there. So uh, the, the alignment to say, Technical support, for example, at the sub-county level, at the district level, is not something that is forthcoming. So you find that a typical small holder pig farmer fends for information on their own. And oftentimes the kind of information they get maybe is uh, information, second or third hand information that is coming maybe from another farmer. So you find that uh, maybe they're not getting the, the raw facts of what exactly they are supposed to be doing. So we find ourselves seeing this smallholder farmer grappling with a lot of challenges, yet they are easy to solve, if at all there was a clear link with uh, a government extension support or any private sector-led extension support. So we encourage that as uh, the program is uh, making the shifts, there's need to have a a congruence, a kind of a, a, a meeting point between the extension support, technical, together with the private sector players, as well as this smallholder pig farmer. Nti okuma record simombizi obo kuandika okuma biona expenses in o input season na zoteka mombizi chirungi era chikuru. Mombizi na yeringa business zindala izenja wulu. Ngabuda waboko le dukario, ngabuda waboko la botikio, 
boko la business ezi ndale ezi nja uro. Nembizi wezili. Nti embizi na ubo wato kipi nze records. Togenda sobo la tege ili embizi yungi tademu sente mmeka. Checho chale njije tufu na nti omuru nzo tuka no kutunde embizi. No gamba bugambi bampe mu sente weziti. Orwe nso nga nti toma nchiche wajite kamu. Chiku yambo tege ili uori oriku progresi. Oori kuros. So from all the above, we need to ask ourselves, who has the best interests of the smallholder farmers at heart? Time and again we've heard that the smallholder farmers are facing an issue of access to finance. When we ask ourselves, is it that the smallholder farmers are not attractive to the financial institutions? Are there bottlenecks that are preventing smallholder farmers from accessing finance? What needs to be done? to ensure that smallholder farmers are able to access not only finance, but other products that they need in order to transform their businesses. We have also heard in the past that there is an issue of record keeping across the divide in the smallholder, small agriculture sector in Uganda. How is this affecting the smallholder pig value chain in Uganda? How can it be addressed? Who is better placed to support the smallholder farmers to transform their activities based on knowledge, based on records, so that they can make the most appropriate decisions that they need in order to grow their enterprises.